The moments giving back to my family have been some of the most fulfilling moments in my entire life. Those are moments I want you to have. New York City. Tomorrow's my mom's birthday, and we got two tickets for her to go to Madison Square Garden for a bullfight. She's going with my dad, but little does she know that I'm gonna be sitting right next to her and surprise her. It's like a big painting. Let's go. You guys have cool. Huh? Her birthday's in a few hours. No, I can do that shit now. It's all about execution. <laughs> Huge luck. That's supposed to be good. That better be good luck. Fuck. Oh, that's terrible. I'm gonna something that why you love mom and how she's inspired you, all of that. And I'm just gonna create like a really dope canvas letter to mom about all the reasons why she's been such a big inspiration to us and why we love her so much. All right. All right. Cool. Thanks. Love you. Bye. Growing up, my motivation was getting rich, making money. Being able to get the car I always dreamed of, the Rarys, the Bentleys, move into New York City, get the penthouse, get what I wanted, when I wanted it. But it took me some time to realize that that's not what success was for me. It was the moments when I was able to call my parents and tell them that I paid off their mortgage. Or on my sister's 17th birthday, and she ran and grabbed me, hugging me, crying, because I surprised her with the car she always dreamed of on her 17th birthday, and she thought that my, my, we couldn't afford that car. Or when I surprised my father with Knicks season tickets, because we were Knicks fans growing up, and that was a dream of mine and his. It was the moments of giving back to my family that have been the most fulfilling moments in my entire life. Those are moments I want you to have. My mom's gonna freaking be so sentimental about this. I don't know if you have anyone in your life that's Spanish, but we are like extra sensitive <laughs> and passionate. Passionate lovers, too. My sister says about my mom, words that inspire her. She, angel on earth, big heart, safe, home, trust, love. Success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. You really know about a person depending on how they're able to control their anger and emotions inside when they're upset. A place where there's no noise, trouble, or hard work, it means to be in the midst of all of those things and still be calm in your heart. Someone who knows how to be poised is a very, very strong individual. And those are the people that you need to be fearful of. I'm okay with eating. I like the border idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. even if you did, it could be like the moon, orangey reds, some pinks, you could dabble in some yellow. Is it going up? Yeah. The story about the blue jay. Well, to be honest, my mom bullshitted us all, made us think it was a blue jay, but it was actually a, it was actually a blue parakeet named blue jay. <laughs> I mean, we love this bird. I mean, this bird literally would fly around the house and lay on, my mom would cook and it would just sit on her shoulder and we all love the bird. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, passed cool. away eventually. I, my mom told me that it flew away. Surprise birthday, girl. How are you doing? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you got me good, man, buddy. <laughs> advice, girl. The best piece of advice I can give you is think positive. Anything is possible in this life when you put your mind to it. Good. Good. Hurry up! <laughs> We're cold! I'm home! <laughs> I'm hungry too! Oh, it's cold out here! It's snowing! It's snowing! Okay. 
Thank you. It's beautiful. We want to honor and thank you for all you do, all that you have taught us, and all that you are every day. A loving mother. Plus, we love your Sancocho too. I'm gonna tell you a little story about my mom's. She actually grew up in a little one bedroom apartment in New Jersey after my grandparents immigrated here. And she actually lived in this little apartment with six siblings. And one day, that apartment caught on fire. And my grandparents and the whole family lost everything. My mom told me it caused her to have to drop out of high school just so she can get a job in the supermarket to help provide for the family. When I heard this story, I was so inspired. And whenever I feel down, whenever I feel like I need to pick myself back, I gotta bounce back, I think about that. And I think about how my mom was able to, with the shirt off her back, rebuild and help, that, help her family as the oldest child. And now build a, my, a family with my father for me and my sisters. And if she was able to do that, then I can accomplish anything in this world. But the people in your life that have been supportive, whether a brother, a sister, an aunt, an uncle, a grandparent, a mentor, a teacher, a friend, the people in your life that have supported you, take the time to give back to them. Take the time to thank them. Trust me, 100%, that is more fulfilling than anything in the world. And when you do that, and you put the desires of others before yourself and you give back, watch how it comes back tenfold. So you think you have what it takes to be a real entrepreneur? I'm gonna take you on a journey. We're gonna hit the West Coast, East Coast, we're gonna be meeting up with some of my investments, we're gonna be with founders, different entrepreneurs, modern day leaders. We're gonna extract their journeys, their successes, their failures. I'm gonna let you into my life, but this isn't about me. This is about you.